Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to be working with the large die of the month for March 2022 and this one's called Flowering Tree and Collapsible Card Base. So this is a really fun 3D project. So let's just jump right into it. This card is so full of dimension and I'm so excited. Basically this card will make a pop-up of a tree and some sentiments here. With the large die itself, it comes with the sentiments happy and birthday. You can also choose to purchase the other dies that come with this, which are the add-ons. So you can get thank and for and you. So you can say thank you or for you or happy you or a birthday thanks if you're giving out a birthday thank you card. I don't know. You can kind of get creative with your sentiments there. So like I said, these three are add-ons, so you have to purchase those separately. So I will link the large die of the month in the description, and I will link the add-on in the description as well. So to create everything, I have already die cut everything out. So I created, so I die cut out one of the back, and then for the three different layers, I had to use I used this die and created three of these and I just cut this one off. I just cut this side off of this one and for the smallest one I cut off that. So then that leaves you that leaves me with three layers, the large, medium and small. Then for the side pieces, I used my two dies here to cut the right and the left side. So that will kind of go on my card like this. So <laughs> I guess that's all for the base and then for my tree I have this beautiful tree. I think this is just stunning just as it is. It's so pretty but just wait till it's in the 3D. I am so excited. <laughs> anyway I die cut out all of the things that went on the tree with white cardstock including the sentiments because I wanted it to have a little bit of a dreamy feel. So I, instead of using colored cardstock, I used the white a white cardstock and then went in with my Copic markers and colored all of the little pieces. So to make all the little pieces, I used all of these dies down here. And of course, for the happy birthday, I used this and this. So let's just clean up my little work area. I'll show you a little hack that I like to use when cleaning up all these little dies and just being quick about it. I use my Glimmer a magnet, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It has a magnet right here. When you press it, it releases it, and I think it's just so genius. So I might have to mute the audio because the sound of metal clinking on a magnet is probably going to be a little loud, but you can see the idea <laughs> right now. So that's fairly fast. <laughs> anyway, now I have more area for my work surface here. <clears throat> I can't wait to put these gems on. <laughs> anyway, let's assemble this back piece first, just in case people are watching the video to figure out how to do that. And then we'll put on the tree and all the embellishments at the very end. So I'm going to put glue on the sides of the tallest piece first and not too much, just a little. And then I'm going to glue that to this piece. I'm gonna line it up with the bottom and it should go right about there. Now I'm not going all the way to the right side because that piece, this back piece here, is going to wrap around and hold on the back of my card. So this is going to go right about there. <laughs> Great, and I just got my hand in the glue. Add a little more. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So it's basically going, I'll just draw it here. Right there. Not all the way to the end, not in the middle.
right there. All right, that made my back piece. Now, train's coming through town. <laughs> All right, now I'll do the middle piece right about here with some glue. And that's going to just butt up against the last piece there. So I'll just show you here. It's going just like that. I'll just press it down so it sticks. And then do the same on the other side. It's going right next to it. Perfect. Bend both ways, just like that. All right, now for the front part. The littlest one of them all. <laughs> and that's going to go right next to the middle piece, just like the others. I'll sneak that little edge in there, perfect. I love how on the sides it just is a clean edge and there's not tabs. I know that can happen with some of the 3D projects so it's kind of nice to see that clean edge. It just works for my brain when I see that. Anyway, that gives the three stared look. So you can see that it can go flat in an envelope if you're going to mail it and it pops right back. So there's what it looks like from the bottom, the back, the top and the front 360 view <laughs> anyway let's pop this on to the back so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on the tall tabs here I'm gonna go all the way to the top for the glue on both sides Probably could have done it one side at a time, but why not just go for it? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it just a little pinch on both sides just so it's really secure and give that liquid glue just a minute to set and stick to that cardstock. And there it is, there's the pop-up. All right, now let's add on the tree. So I want the tree to go in the back And then I would like the happy to go next and then the birthday. Right about there. So let's put the tree on. I'm gonna add glue right about here. I'm going to be kind of generous with the amount of glue because it is rather heavy with all of those little pieces and it is just a little section that is getting glued. So we are just going to be Oh, so delicate here. Okay, I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers just to pinch it so it does not move. And I'm going to try to scrape any extra glue that I have here. Yes, I have to put that right onto my hand. Goodness, that is a long train. It's been like three minutes. <laughs> okay. Excellent, my tree is on now. Okay, then I have my happy and my birthday here. So the glue goes right on the thick bottom piece so it can attach right to the back of these middle pieces. And I'm going to offset it, I think. Oh, let's check before I just go crazy here. Happy birthday or happy birthday. Now yeah, let's center it. Not feeling so wild today, I guess. I 
think I'm going to just kind of flatten it as I go here. So it will just pop back. The Y seems to be a little higher than the H, so I'm going to just slide it down. There we go. Happy. And then birthday. How fun is this as a little birthday message for someone? So pretty and cute. And I think it would be fun to make a whole bunch of these and use them for different holidays. I was looking at this and thinking about Christmas since I just moved craft rooms here and I just realized how much Christmas stuff I have and this would be kind of fun to make a little Christmas scene with a Christmas tree using the pop-up feature. Plus if you're not really interested in the pop-up you can still make a gorgeous card just with the tree and the sentiments and you don't have to use the um, pop-up feature if you're not really interested in that. Now you could leave this as it is, or you could put it on a card base. So let me grab one and I'll show you what that would look like. So if you were going to put that onto a card, it would look something like this. You could also add a panel in the back for a message if you wanted to add a little something there or you can write the person's name right on the front. There's a whole bunch of different possibilities you could do. But I am going to choose to add some bling because I am a bling gal. <laughs> now this, these are some leftover gems from the Damask Daydream card kit of the month from I think two summers ago. And then these are some just silver beads. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go with these because they have some pink purpley colors to them and it kind of matches my happy birthday sentiment down there. So I think I'll just grab my tool in one and pop some on maybe four on the big peachy purple flowers. And then with my little ones, I might pull out my Wink of Stella. All right, last I'm going to pull out my Wink of Stella pen and just add a little glimmer, a little shimmer to my flowers, mostly the purple ones, and probably the pink ones too, but we'll see how it looks like first. Oh, I like that. You know, I'm going to put it on the sentiment. <laughs> if you have never used a Wink of Stella pen, you've got to try one. They're so pretty. It is so easy to add a little bit of glitter to projects and it doesn't add any weight to your card and it doesn't affect the mailing. I just love these pens. And they're just a couple dollars, so it's a great little thing to have on hand. And just look at all the shine that that adds. Oh, that is so fun. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope that maybe I helped you figure out how to assemble the back piece. It's not too complicated, so I don't know. Maybe everyone knew how to do it anyway, but such is life. <laughs> But if you were inspired by this at all, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this card or the die or the add-on die. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for future videos like this in the future. For more videos like this in the future, I am going to be receiving all of the monthly subscriptions, so you should be able to gain inspiration from any of those clubs. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you get to craft today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.